Time for chapter 11. So after he casually kills a guy, now Lord Cordis wants to speak with him privately. So, he, but he's having a bit of a problem. He's having a bit in his, in his mind if it was a good idea to kill the guy. Because this is the first murder we see where he actually didn't really need to murder anyone. Because the last two stories where he actually like, killed people, it makes sense. He, his life was on the line and stuff. But this, he didn't really need to. So that's, the, that's, the, that's what we're going to be going over in the next few chapters here. And, he says, and there's basically going to be a punishment because co combat isn't supposed to be where you kill people. And he thinned the rank of potential Sith Master, so he had dealt. So that's basically destroying the war effort. So he's basically like putting together his arguments as he walks over. He tries to put it, chalk it up to, to Sith philosophy, but when he enters the door, he sees that how Cordis has a bunch of wealth. And when he talks to Lord Cordis, he's like, he tries to like defend himself through factual statements. And Cordis, Cordis talks about how he trade up killed the guy. And Bane is like, Kasim didn't stop me, so bruh, why didn't why why didn't anything happen? Bane realizes he wasn't going to be punished, but but it's revealed that it could help achieve his full potential. And he talks about Sirac. And they use the quote from chapter 9 to, like, explain why it's okay for him to kill him. And yeah, this is where they talk about the Sith Ari. And, and they don't really, like, talk about too much. Like, Horus basically dodges the question. But the problem is, in his room, Bane is, like, struggling still. And yeah, this is where I talk about how he's had a lot of blood in his hands. He goes over that. And then he thinks about the relationship of the passion of the dark side. Then he realized that there are, there's flaws in the master's plans. But then he remembers a flashback of his dad beating him up while he was drunk. And he realized that after he got beat up, he wanted him dead. And he realized he must have used the force to he used the force in that moment to kill him with a heart attack by c clutching his heart. And yeah, now he's basically he has like PTSD from this now. Time for chapter 12. Okay, here's chapter 12. This is a sad hallelujah scene where Bane, play, where Bane becomes bad at fighting people. This is where I got mad at this bro for like choking so hard, but here we go. So he's being trained by Kasim, the Blade Master, but, he, but he's very bad. Like, for, he's not good. And he, and Bane is going to continue practicing, but Kasim calls him a fool for even trying. And the Blade Master just roasts him and says, Full Hogwarts is better than you. And Bane has been holding back because, you know, he killed a guy and now he hasn't been able to get over it. And something is wrong with him. Like, he is no longer sharp. He no longer feels alive. He feels muted and distant. And he's having nightmares of basically his murders. This is a... And he no longer has passion to fight. And he was regressing and now people are catching up. And he's being held back somehow. And in their first days, his only rival was Sirak, but now everyone is a threat. And, well, Challenger would take him down, but he doesn't know what to do. Okay, this cuts to, like, the war that's still happening. And something is wrong with Lord Khan. And there's, of the current war. And there's some sort of, uh, trap. And he's there to meet, uh, Lord Co- He's here to meet Kopec's news. And turns out that turns out they've lost Rusan because they have a whole army of Jedi. And they basically need backup now. And they're suggesting that they send everyone to Rusan to make a big fight. But there's problems there. They they're thinking of filling up the team with all their academies. But they don't want to because they have too much ambition and rivalry. And and they're going to keep but they're going to keep fighting though, so they want it, and then they get some more news from Cordis. But they aren't going to fight yet, still, which, you know, that isn't good enough. But they're thinking of sending some apprentices to the front lines. And they're talking about how Bane is kind of trashy now. And they're planning to, like, abandon Bane and not let him, like, fight and get trained anymore. But the Blade Master thinks he needs more time. But. They, they want him to get turned away. So that's pretty sad. This is a sad arc, I told you. 
Anyway, it's time for chapter 13.